anything like this, no photos, nothing. I can imagine in quite some time now. Monday afternoon, I'd had a day break uh, after filming every single day and uploading every single day last week. So I'm hoping to do the same again this week. But last time I came, the entire beach was filled with foam. So I'm hoping that it has changed and we can actually get to some shelling today. Let's do it. It's a beautiful afternoon. It's just about sunset. Got the torch ready. Beautiful. Just arrived to the first spot here. Now I'm, ki I'm not kidding you. The other day, that stuff was all up here. You could not even stand stand anywhere here. So there might be some bonnets here today. Uh, I'm the first one to take a look at it since. So there's about four days worth of shells here. Hopefully, awesome. Just what I was hoping for. Be actually able to see through it. What do we have? I was excited to come back here after the other couple of days. See what's in these cracks. Mr. Krabs, how are you? Hope you're well. We got a sea cucumber, classic. Alright, let's keep moving. Come on. Looks like we might have our first uh, bonnet shell oh, of the night. Just dipped my whole foot into a thing of water. Alright, let's check it out. And it looks pretty good. What do we what do we think? That looks pretty dang perfect to me. Let's dip her in some water. There we go. First shell find of the night. Awesome. There is still a bit of sea foam, but I definitely think we can work through it. Anything out of there? Nice. Is that another bonnet down there? Oh, I think it is. I think it is. It's a tiny fellow if it is. And what do we have? Ah, broken. Oh, well, that was a good first find. Let's keep going. I want to check down here, down there, everywhere. Can't wait till all the foam goes away. I don't really see too much through here. Oh, I can actually. Still a bit crazy tired right now. It's 0.6, but that's okay. I spot a little cherry down here. Not a little actually. It's pretty whopping if I can get to it without breaking it. Oh, I hope I can. I'm going to use my non gloved hand. Give me a bit more. See it down there? Flash orange, eh? I don't want to drop it down that crevasse. There we go. Oh, oh, nice. Yeah, dude. That's a beauty. Check that out. So, that is a cherry cowrie. It's missing quite a lot of its purple teeth color. But sick. That color on top is just so vibrant. Amazing, actually. Alrighty, looks like it's gonna be in our eye. I wanna check over there and there. But while we wait for it, I'm gonna go over here. See what I can see in the crevasses. Excuse me, incoming tide. Well, outgoing tide. Just wanna get past you there. What do we have down here? Can I see anything? can see through what's left of the foam. Didn't see any shells yet. I'm sure they're here somewhere. Broken bonnet. Anything down there? No. Look at that. Big chunk of sea foam. Alrighty guys, first time getting the feet wet. Oh, it's chilly today. I want to see what's under here. Nothing really. But I do want to check under this. Nothing that I could see. We'll wait to come back to that later. That's a bit lower. I want to check over here. What's covered in foam. Definitely want to check in there. Let's head here. Oh, I already see a bonnet sitting right there. Let's move all this. Let's use my hands. Is it going to be whole? It is going to be whole and it's a beauty. Nice. I miss these days, man. Finding spectacular bonnet shells. Let's place that there for now. Oh, it gives you a rush. Ah, piece of a, another bonnet. It seems like after storms, bonnets are just crazy, crazy hiding under the water everywhere straight after. It's wonderful. A lot of people are now asking me to go slower when I'm showing the shells and show them a bit more. 
So that's what I'm trying to do lately. I want to check down there, but that is a nice Valium Arola, I believe. Let's check under here now. Sometimes it's hard for me to slow down while filming because I just want to go, 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 go. I'm so full of energy to be out here and actually shelling and especially straight after a storm. So sometimes it's tough. It's starting to get a bit darker now. I have a torch, of course. Could you imagine what, what might be under there? We'll have to see in a couple of weeks, I'd say. That's all this storm's gone. It's definitely much more crazy over that side. Whereas this side here, it's really flat, but that is just along the coastline there. So maybe up there, it might be a bit more rough. Here we go. We have another bonnet. Hopefully it's whole. It's got a little crack in it, but that spire is beautiful. Dang, that's a shame about that crack. Oh, well, it's still a whole shell, guys. It's definitely a keeper. We're coming around to the other side now. It's still a bit bright, but I just want the top quality for you guys. Let's see what else we can find. Remember, this entire side as well was also covered in deep, deep sea foam up there. Roll the clip. Look at this, guys. Usually the foam doesn't come up to any higher than there, but this is crazy. Wow, even over there. Unreal. So that's not gonna be an option today. <laughs> but anyway, guys, hopefully, 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 that up there is well enough to shell out. I think we might have a deer cowrie down here. Check that out. So I'm about 30 meters from where I last was. Uh, there was way too much foam. But let's check it out. You guys can see it there. Come on. Oh my god, that's a beauty. Check that out. That is indeed a deer cowrie, guys. So it does look a lot like the cherry cowrie I just pulled up different shells you can tell because the deer cowries are much thicker whereas the cherry cowries are very thin compared to these and I actually haven't found a deer cowrie like this this good a quality in quite a few months so it's awesome to finally find one in great condition nice well there's a closer look at it guys we're gonna be turning switching over to iPhone video in a moment once it gets a bit darker should be a bit better quality then but yeah let's keep moving I want cycle worthy guys beautiful really looking promising over this other side uh, in regards to the foam really hoping it's really starting to get dark real quick now I'm pretty excited to see what's right, over so there switch, switched to the iPhone camera now thought it'd be a bit better quality let me just change Might be an Arabian see that is it whole though what do you guys think? Comment down below, don't skip. Just comment down below if you think that's whole. I haven't touched it at all. Oh my goodness, it looks beautiful. Check it out. I'm gonna say, oh, I need to put my torch somewhere. Hold on. Sit there, okay. I'm gonna say it is whole. Oh my goodness. Check that beauty out, guys. I haven't found it a good, good, good Arabian to keep in quite some time now maybe even a couple of weeks. And I know that may not seem long for some of you guys, but I, I'm not like trying to boast or anything, but I used to find these guys daily. Like I was the king of Arabian calories here for a very long time. It's so thin, it's beautiful guys. You gotta drop a like for that find. That one was epic. And this is really far from the beach. This is actually my micro shelling spot. I've never really found any larger shells here. Check it out how far we are actually from the water. So that's been sitting there for quite some time. That is beautiful, guys. I'm pretty stoked on that. Awesome. Sea foam here that was here last week. All of the sea foam, guys, is gone. That's wonderful. We are going to find some nice shells tonight, I reckon. It's already off to an amazing start. Alrighty, guys. Looks like we've got a nice uh, erosa down there. Just checking for anything else. I see a textile piece right there. Um, yeah, that seems about it. All right, let's check it out. It looks like a really, really big one. Oh, nice. That's probably one of the fattest ones i ever seen. 
awesome. Cipre Erosa, it'll probably be down on the screen. Written, awesome. All right, I'm gonna keep checking all the way down here. Alrighty, I'm not looking for micro shells right now, but I will go for a quick sift through to see if there are any grape calories sitting on the bottom. We really don't have much time or enough time to go micro shelling right now. Uh, I'd really just love to find some awesome large shells. Like I'd love to find a textile tonight. We've already found the Arabian. That was a bloody stunner. Awesome. No, no grapes here. Probably won't spend too much time on it going through all this. Pretty dark now. Just sort of searching through these little areas here, seeing what I can find. Haven't found too much along this little line here in quite some time actually. But it's been okay. I think I see a little, uh, yeah, a um, snake head there. Let's drop down into, oh dude, there's a clandestine right next to it. See that? That's wild, dude. Let's check it out. So I'm gonna grab this one first. Cause that one looks really cool actually. I like that. Old rugged snake head. And then the clandestine cowrie sitting right on top. Sweet. Focus a bit on that, check it out. It's a bit uh, faded, but that's okay. Awesome. Two nice little scores. Let's keep walking, guys. Can't really see much when the light's not close up, but I'll take you guys for a walk. So it's nearly completely dark. You can see the city over there. It's about 7 p.m., beautiful night. No rain, no clouds. It's beautiful, actually. Don't really see too much down here. We might keep moving. Alrighty, we're at that volute spot, or what I call the volute spot, because we found a giant volute here the other day, but I see a beautiful blue cowrie that actually really, really shines. My pants just touched that little pool. That's really not nice. Anyway, that's nice. That one actually shines straight into my eye. That's why I picked it up. It's really hard to film ongoing, like, keep searching because uh you know the quality is not too good but anyway let's keep searching just in front of the volute spot now i have so many volute spots apparently i call everything a volute spot well uh just in front of it sometimes some things will get washed up in here and stuck for the minute but it won't take long for it to come out because of the constant waves coming that's all right i have my fair share of winds along this little part of the beach. Come for a search with me, guys. I found a number of good stuff here. Like I found a textile stuck in that rock there a couple of times. Uh, there's a little orange clam, but I'm not too keen on taking that. Sometimes I check under these rocks, see if anything's gotten stuck. Don't really see anything. Let's keep moving down the line. Usually I wouldn't check these spots, but after a storm, literally anything could be anywhere. So it's really important. Guys, I have absolutely no idea what this is. If I had to guess what that is, I'd say some sort of sea star, but I'm kind of scared to touch it. That is crazy. I've never seen anything like this. What on earth is that? What is that? What is that? Guys, what the heck? I'm scared to touch that thing. I don't think I should. That's crazy. What is that? Looks like some sort of spider. So I pulled it up out of the water very carefully. Uh, still, no idea what alien-like creature this is. I have no idea. I'm actually just gonna leave it because I'm kind of scared of it. It looks really intimidating. It's definitely alive. Oh my goodness, that is scary. Alrighty, I'm gonna put this guy back in the water and uh, I think we'll leave because that thing is scaring me. Look at that, that looks like death itself. All right, guys, let's keep going. What the heck? Move this thing to a better position in the water so we might be able to take a closer look at him. He's just crazy looking, dude. I can't believe it. Never, I've come here for well over two years now. Probably over 500 times. No, maybe 200. Uh, and I've never ever seen anything like this. No photos, nothing. I can imagine it's a sea star. 
I'm gonna take my guess as that. But he's got many more than eight arms. So, that makes me question. Just take a look at how this guy moves. Much, much faster than a sea star. Looks like something out of Venom. The movie Venom, it looks like something out of that. It's moving very quickly. It's got like 16 legs, man. It's crazy to me. You guys might be sick of uh, Arabian calories by now since I've shown quite a lot of live ones, but we'll only take a second to look at this one. I'm still like flabbergasted on that last thing. I don't know what it is. There's another Arabian curry back here. Where'd he go? Just down there. We'll take a look at him, say hi real quick, and continue on our journey. But that thing was insane, man. I have no idea. We got a little volute down here. That looks pretty cool. I believe it is missing the top. Then we have a, what is it? A sea hare over there. Let's check it out down here first though. Oops, sorry about that. My camera's rolling away. Everything's going bad. Anyway, that's an all right volute. Sad it's missing the top. They usually do, it's pretty common for them to lose the top. No idea why you'd think it'd be the sternest part, but uh, we'll keep that for the YouTube giveaways. Awesome. Now let's check out Mr. Sea Hair over here. What's up Sea Hair? Oh, there's two. How you fellas doing lately? That storm was very rough, hey? Crazy, guys. Yeah, hope the kids are well. And uh, I shall see you another day. I wonder how many times I've actually seen them. Those exact ones. That'd be funny. I want to check over there. Where is it? About 10 meters in front of me. Don't know if you could see it. Don't think so. Because I found a big volute there once. So you never know. All right, let's go over there. Hey, I know, I know, I know, I know I said that I wouldn't show any more Arabian calories tonight, but here's another one because there's so many around this little spot here. It's probably the fourth one I've seen just in the like last 10 meters around here. It's crazy. Two more sea hairs over there as well. I'm gonna find some cool more Fish stuff. Fish under here, chilling, relaxing, taking a nap. Now this is where I found one of my biggest volutes along this little section here. Oh, more big fish. Beautiful fish. It's really close to the water. Like, this time last week, I wouldn't even have been able to get half as close as I am right now to the water edge. Which is either a good thing or a really dangerous thing. <laughs> but I'm going away now, so I should be fine. We've got a live snakehead right here. Very, very common. Oh, look at the color of that crab. Redhead. <laughs> That looks like a big volute to me, guys. Nothing too, too massive, but definitely exciting worth. Excitement worthy, I guess. Oh, that looks beautiful just to see that, man. Hopefully, hopefully it has its tip and hopefully it's whole. Alrighty, guys, let's check it out. Alrighty, put the camera down, I mean the torch down. Oh, dang, dude, it's missing that tiny tip there. <sighs> Damn. I uh, don't tend to keep them for my personal collection if they don't have the tip. That's a real shame. Uh, well, we'll definitely keep this magnificent volute for the YouTube giveaways. So when I keep mentioning these YouTube giveaways, basically I hold a giveaway for all of the shells that I've found in the last month uh, to one special subscriber, one random subscriber every single month on the 20th. Uh, I so I basically draw a uh, random person from my subscribe list and uh, if you are chosen then I send you all of the shells that I have found in the previous month so yeah if you want to be in that giveaway or participating then you have to simply subscribe enough pogging let's go straight to more shells this one here is a giant uh, Arabian cowrie check that out he's moving pretty quick too that one's beautiful it's moving fast. Dang. Look at that mantle on it. Very, very cool. He's going to show us both sides, is he? Oh, cool. Let's keep moving, guys. Oh, sweet. What's that? Top of shell. Oh, no, guys. We have a drying Mr. Sea Hair here. If I hadn't have shown up tonight, he would have dried out here and basically died. Alrighty, buddy. It's going to be tough, but uh, let's get you out of that hole and straight into some water, eh? help my friend here I love these guys find a pool of water for you close enough to the water's edge 
Don't have my torch. I left it back there. I think the water here will be okay. Oh, there's a bigger sort of river system right here. Just in case that other one dries up anytime soon. There you go, buddy. Safe and sound. Hope you have an awesome evening. Catch up with your friends. On tonight's finds, a Vula ovum eggshell. Yeah, that's uh, sort of come off with its color. Cause all